Tom, how did your students do on their last unit test? My class did a phenomenal job. I just don't understand what happened. It was as if no one really understood the unit. What about Amanda and Miguel? They always get awesome grades. How did they do on the unit test? That is how I know there's something wrong. I must fix this immediately. No one scored higher than an 82. This new grading scale makes that a high C. Well, maybe you should use another approach in the next unit to ensure that your students produce better results. I have to do something. That unit only lasted one week. This next unit will last for over two weeks and it is important that my students understand. This next unit is on North Carolina settlement. Tell me, Tina. What method are you using in your class? I have been using the backward design technique and my students are really getting the material. The lessons are planned after I determine what the class should know according the North Carolina standard course of study. From there, I can target what to teach the class, what areas to emphasize, and what is merely mentionable information. Tell me how Tai you mean by understand. Tina, I don't see how that can possibly work. How can you design a unit backwards? Define what you mean by understand. Do you want them to be able to just tell facts, be able to identify it, apply the learned material, or combinations? You may want to determine what the main ideas are for the unit. What do you want your students to know, understand, and be able to do as a result of completing the North Carolina Settlement Unit? How will you gauge their results based on their current knowledge? strengths, and weaknesses. Okay, I am beginning to see how this could possibly work. With this in mind, I can devise lesson plans to reach these objectives. Will I use the text only, video, the internet, etc. or some combination of these to construct the lessons? How will the lessons themselves be presented? Will my lessons include group work, projects, worksheets, discussions, essay writing, or even a debate? Well normally, my students read the chapter, I lecture on the material and then we take the test. It has always been done this way. This last unit was just so disappointing. There has to be significant change so my class understands the material and are able to apply what they have learned to other situations. Well, using the backward design method has taught me that there is more than one way to present the material. This method helps me to select what will be most effective for each section and the unit as a whole. Because I design it with my desired outcomes in mind, I easily engage my class and get the results I am looking for, something they can use, and something they can be proud of as students. It also helps me see what modifications if any are necessary for even greater results. This is definitely something I want to implement for this next unit. With the results you're getting from your students, it is certainly worth investigating. Tell me more about this backwards design method. Well, there is a nifty acronym that can help you set up a learning plan. It is called WHERE2. Oh, that sounds interesting. Tell me more. The W stands for where the unit is going and what's expected. The H stands for who call students and hold interest. The first E stands for equip students, help them experience key ideas and explore the issues. The R stands for rethink and revise. The second D stands for allow students to evaluate. The T stands for tailored, meaning tailor your lesson plan to different learners. And finally, the O stands for be organized. So how are you planning to use this for our next unit about North Carolina settlement? Well, I will share a few things I have in mind. It's important that all of students are successful. I plan to start with the H, to hook the students I will act out a story about my friends and I, obviously I will play more than one character, coming on a ship to America, and how we ended up in North Carolina. The kids enjoy a little acting. Then, I will use the W, to introduce the first objective to them so they know what the goal of our first objective is. Coast, Piedmont, or mountains, to an inhabitant of another region. To explore, I will have students engage in research by looking at the maps of North Carolina, noting its geography, resources, and economy. Do you see how that fits so nicely? 
the students will then need to make brochures sailing a certain region, coast, Piedmont, or mountains to an inhabitant of another region. Their brochures will discuss the resources, why their geography is the best, and why their economy is stronger than the other regions. That will help students to rethink their understandings. Do you see where I am going with this? This is fantastic. I couldn't wait to use this in my classroom. Maybe being backwards isn't so bad at all. This is what I have been missing in my classroom. Not only will this spark new enthusiasm in my students, this will get them thinking again.